What's up YouTube? Here we have my Nintendo Power Magazine collection. It's not a big collection, but a lot of these I bought on eBay because of the posters. Like this cover, I guess, like it, who cares about World Driver Championship, but this cover probably had one of these awesome posters and I had to do some research to find out which one had all these posters, but uh, yeah. These are the issues I ended up, had, uh, ended up buying and a lot of these I bought because of the cover. And yeah, that's, I'm just going to show you guys the covers and then at the end I'm going to show you guys inside a few of these. So yeah, here we have Nintendo, whoa, zoom out, Nintendo Driver Championships, Aladdin, Felix the Cat, I love this cartoon, I, 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 I wish they still showed it. F-Zero X, this game was great on the 64. I, lo I freaking loved it, it was a blast. Super Street Fighter 2 with T-Hawk on the cover. Secret of Mana, I never played this game but I heard so many great things about it. Bugs Bunny's Rabbit Rampage, looks like another one of those Mario Paint clones. Never played, I never liked playing those games. Wario Land. Super Mario Land 3. I'm guessing it's for the a cool back. Is that Ganon? I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess it's for the Game Boy. WWF Super WrestleMania. <laughs> How badass is this cover? Look at that. He's holding a Super Nintendo controller. Hulk Hogan is holding a Super Nintendo controller while he leg drops this guy. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't even have Photoshop back then. I don't know how they did that. <laughs> I know. Ken Griffey Jr. I never cared for him, but I think that's the one that had my Metroid poster. That Metroid poster. I've seen that Metroid poster go for like 15 bucks on eBay, so I got that issue for like $2 a dollar. Super Star Wars. One of my favorite Super Nintendo games, and I don't own it. <laughs> Super Metroid. Another one of my favorite Super Nintendo games that I don't own. Metal Storm. I don't own the game, so I might as well own the Nintendo Power covers. <laughs> Metal Storm. I never played this game, but I heard it was great. Here we have the 1995 bonus issue. It glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Here we have another uh, Hulk Hogan holding a Nintendo 64 controller this time. Yeah, like 10 years later, he's still holding his... Photoshop Nintendo controller headlocking sting. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, who cares? Vice Project Doom. I never played this game. It looks cool though. First I thought it was a Virtual Boy cover. Metroid, one of my favorite games on this Nintendo. On the NES. Super Castlevania 4. Simon's Monstrous New Quests. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. With Raphael. Come away from there. On the cover. Metroid Prime. This is a thick issue. It looks like the Bible. Um. This is another one of those bonus January issues. It has like 14 posters in it and a bunch of other stuff. One of my newer issues. Star Fox. These are all retro classic issues. Vintage issues. And that's, that Metroid Prime one's kind of new. Like GameCube. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty new. Mega Man 3. I love the artwork on these. Like they make them themselves or something. It looks so cool. A little dog. It looks so cute. Mega Man 2. Dr. Wily is made of clay and so is Mega Man. And Mega Man's wearing red, I guess. I'm not sure if he has a power or if he's Proto Man or I don't know. Ninja Gaiden 2. No, just Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> this issue is from March 1989. So yeah. <laughs> Live action Ninja Gaiden. I wonder what that guy did for a living besides this. I think he still dresses like that. I don't know. Pugsley scavenger hunt. There's this guy in my high that I went to high school with that looks just like him. I swear to God, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's a cool issue. 
I love the Adams family. Battle Toads and Double Dragon. There's Double Dragon in the back. Big ass Battle Toad in the front. We all know who what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. There's Zelda, Link to the Past, with a live action Link on the cover. That's what I liked about Nintendo Power. The art, the art is awesome. Okay, and I'll show you my favorite issues. Um, here's a Nintendo Power guide. It's the complete strategy guide for the first Final Fantasy game. So that's pretty awesome. Let's look, in, let's look inside. Here's the back. Nintendo Power came up with a couple of strategy guides as well. Cool little logo on the back of the book cover. So we have a, a map of all the world, the complete Final Fantasy world. There's the main characters, I'm assuming. I never really played the first Final Fantasy. I know, shoot me, right? <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff. I know, I heard that this is like one of the most needed issues of Nintendo Power because so many people get stuck on this game. And yeah, this is a pretty rare issue. Apparently, supposedly. I don't know. It's a complete strategy guide. How cool is that for the first Final Fantasy? And yeah. Pretty much just has maps and everything, just like every other strategy guide. Awesome artwork, once again. I'll show you what I mean. I think I just showed you, but I'll show you again. Here's another picture. That looks awesome. Looks like a Jehovah's Witness pamphlet. And last but not least, no, not this. The first number one issue of Nintendo Power. I'm getting kind of emotional right now because this issue came out on July 1988 and guess who was born on July of 1988? Me. Yes. I was probably in my mother's womb or in the hospital when this issue came out. And uh, yeah, go ahead and say it. Aww. I know. <laughs> it's pretty sad, but yeah. <laughs> Somebody bought this issue from their newsstands. Uh, Toys R Us or wherever you pick these up at the time. While I was in the hospital, they read it, they screwed it up just like it looks right now. It's all used up and torn up. And I was in, I was a baby when some random, probably, I don't know, I don't know who would have owned this. And some nerd from the 80s had this in their possession while I was a baby. And now I have it 22 years later. That's kind of crazy. I know I'm making a big deal out of that, but I, I find it kind of crazy. And yeah, I guess it went through hell, apparently, since I'm afraid to open it. And once again, the art is amazing. Like, seriously, have you ever seen Mario artwork look like this? Besides that swap meets? No. And here we go. It looks like Nintendo Power went all out with the art. I love it. it pretty much gives you strategy on how to beat every the entire Mario 2 game, which I never really beat. It's the only Mario game I never beat. Look at this. Look at this artwork. Since when does Toad have a blue helmet? <laughs> Luigi. Look at Luigi. Look at Peach. She looks like the oblong. Have you seen the oblongs? Is that what that show is called? She looks like that oblong. Yeah, I don't want to say what that oblong has. It's kind of inappropriate. But yeah. uh, Google it. <laughs> the deformed oblong. And yeah, there's an, ent an entire map for the first level. Teaches you how to pick up mushrooms and stuff and beats. <laughs> and yeah, it also has some that baseball game. Uh, what game was that? I don't remember. RBI Baseball. Bases Loaded. Those games that no one likes to own. <laughs> we have Zelda. That's awesome. Zelda Second Quest. Let's see what else is in here. And we have stuff like... Uh, Whoa. Players poll. In general, how did you like the premiere issue of Nintendo Power? It's great. It's okay. I didn't like it. Do you plan on subscribing? Wow, that's pretty cool. Seeing like the polls from the first issue, they're all insecure about it. <laughs> and yeah, this was the first issue of Nintendo Power. And we have Rambo. Check it out. Come on. Come on. Bionic Commando, another great game. Video shorts. Don't know what that does. <laughs> NES game shows. Jeopardy Wheel of Fortune. C 
Contra. This is awesome artwork. Gauntlet. But yeah. <laughs> Let's look at this issue. Just a random issue. Contests. The contests were cool. Go ringside. Win a trip to SummerSlam. Meet Macho Man Randy Savage. Meet Hulk Hogan. A lot of these had a... Uh, a lot of these advertise things that never came out. Like, I never ever seen that any SNES controller. I've never seen that. I don't know if anyone owns these. If anyone owns these, let me know. Link me to your videos if you show them off. But yeah, guys, that was my Nintendo Power Magazine collection. <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.